often one of the most fashionable men on the red carpet, Brad Pitt opted for a more minimalist look on Tuesday as he stepped out in Los Angeles. The 58-year-old actor looked casual cool in a white bucket hat and sunglasses as he navigated a public parking building in the Chinatown district. The Once Upon a Time in Hollywood star also sported his signature layered shirt look, wearing an olive t-shirt over a long-sleeved white shirt. The Hollywood heartthrob paired his look with dark green cargo pants. He also matched his head wear with a pair of white vans. Following safety precautions, the Brioni ambassador sported a blue face mask to protect himself from COVID-19. The outing comes as rumors continue to swirl that his ex-wife, Angelina Jolie, 46, is seeing Canadian singer The Weeknd. The superstar sparked romantic rumors with the crooner after the two were spotted having dinner inside Santa Monica hotspot Giorgio Baldi in September. Though she has reportedly told people they were just friends fans believe that the musician's latest album, Dawn FM, suggests otherwise. In song Here We Go. Again the singer talks about dating a movie star, fueling speculations he may be seeing Jolie. He sings, and my new girl, she a movie star slash my new girl, she a movie star. Pitt and Jolie share six kids together, daughters Zahara, seven. Hearing the case should be disqualified for failing to sufficiently disclose his business relationships with Pitt's attorneys. The decision effectively made void a previous ruling granting Pitt additional time with his five minor children. The state Supreme Court's decision finalizes that ruling. It means the fight over the couple's five minor children, which was nearing an end, could just be getting started. Ms. Jolie is focused on her family and pleased that her children's well-being will not be guided by unethical behavior, her attorney, Robert Olson, said in an email. Piss attorney had previously argued that Jolie's effort to disqualify the judge was aimed at preventing his tentative custody decision which was favorable to Pitt, from taking effect. A statement from a representative for Pitt said the Supreme Court decision does not change the extraordinary amount of factual evidence which led the trial judge, and the many experts who testified, to reach their clear conclusion about what is in the children's best interests.